so David, I'll pass it on over to you. And thanks for thanks for demoing these on the on the webinar for us today. Thanks, Jason. Uh, hope everyone's having a great and productive Wednesday. So this is uh, the first add-on we'll be talking about. It's called the AdBlock Detector. It's pretty simple. The basic gist of it is ad blocking plugins and software have been skyrocketing in popularity over the past several years. Um, I myself am one who actually uses an ad block plugin. And this can hurt a lot of websites that rely heavily on generating ad revenue. As Jason mentioned, this add-on isn't necessarily for everyone. Um, if most of your revenue is generated from selling premium memberships, you probably won't want to enable this add-on because basically what you'll be doing is you'll just be giving, uh, or you'll be showing pop-ups to your paying members uh, who might be using an ad blocker. And that just and that just leads to some annoyance on their end. So, uh, but if you do generate a lot of your revenue through ads, this would be a great add-on to add to your website. So, if we head on into the admin here, once you uh, once this website is out, and if you have it enabled on your site, in the design settings of your admin, and under the banner ad design tab in the design settings, you'll see a new section here titled Ad Blocker Message. You can choose to enable it, disable it, and the, there's two settings for uh, enabling it, which we'll go over. You can change the title of the pop-up, the message in the pop-up, as well as the text on the button. So if we head on over to this sample website here and I reload it, I have my ad blocker enabled, and you'll see that the website detects that I have my ad blocker enabled, and it pops up this message. Uh, Again, the title, the message, and the button text are all customizable. So whatever you wanna have there, you can. And uh, this is the notification mode. You'll see it right here, enable notification mode. So all this does is it provides me with the pop-up. I can click, yes, I'll whitelist this website. And I have full access to the website. Now the ads are still being blocked because um, I haven't disabled my ad blocker. However, with the other uh, enabled option, we can go ahead and choose that. That's called enable block content mode. And if we save these changes, when we refresh the site, that button will be gone. So we won't be able to dismiss the notification, which means in order to view the content on the website, we'll actually need to disable our ad blocker or at least add this website to our whitelist. So let me show you that right now. You'll see we get the pop-up and there's no button here. So there's no way for me to get out of it. Um, and I can't scroll on the website either. So let me go ahead and pause my ad blocker and refresh the site. And you'll see that no pop-up is displayed because my ad blocker is now enabled, uh, disabled. So again, a great add-on for websites who generate a lot of their revenue through ads. If you don't really display too many ads on your website or you don't really care about the revenue you're generating because you're generating more revenue through selling memberships, then you probably don't need to worry about this add-on. Awesome. Wow. The ad blocker one is really good if you do, you know, a lot of people do rely on, on ad revenue and a lot of people are using ad blockers these days. And I've actually seen this um, around the web, so it's, it's starting to become more common. Uh, so glad we can offer this uh, to the people that might need it. Yeah, we have some statistics also on both of these detail pages, if anyone's interested. Uh, over 600 million people are now using ad blockers. All right, David. Well, well thanks for that great presentation. Um, we'll probably, in the next webinar, I know there's a, a ton of things scheduled to be released, so maybe we could bring you back in the next webinar to kind of showcase some other add-ons that are coming up. I'd love it. All right. Thank you, David.